Attention to any DJs listening. Here we go. Sit your ass down and take notes. Because the man is on the turntables. DJ Rubo. Okay. Um, this is DJ Rubo. I actually have uh, just gotten a whole host of acapellas. I'll show you the link, uh, or I'll post the link in the description below. Um, here's some problems. First of all, the way that it's named, you can tell, but it doesn't fit within the naming convention of what I need. Also, if you look at the metadata for this stuff, you'll notice it doesn't show the artist, it doesn't show the title, the genre, um, this is very critical stuff when you're, um, you know, working on your or configuring your files for your DJ software. So we need to fix this. So let me close all of this out. So uh, actually, let's go back here. I use this software, JCaws Audio Tagger. Uh, I have been using this for quite a while. I am a huge, huge fan. Every time I download music, um, you know, I use this to edit the metadata uh, to make sure that the artist, the title, and the genre and the year are all correct. So um, now, one thing that we could do is use one of the actions to go in here and correct the metadata from the file name. However, um, the way that this is currently configured with the underscores um, makes this not work. So we need to fix the file name uh, first and then we can use that to automatically fix all of the metadata. So, there's a program for the Mac that will let you uh, fix uh, file names. So, I use this on occasion. So, we're going to dump all of these in here. Now, my problem is with the underscore. I need to get rid of all the underscores. Everything else is fine. So, in this case, I want to find and I got the underscore here, and I'm going to replace it with uh, just an empty space. So here's what the file looks like previously. Here's what the file looks like after we're done. So uh, it's going to take a minute here or so. And sweet. So if we look here, that's it looks that looks good. However, it'd be nice to have everything capitalized. So if we go here and we go to change case, you can see that we'll set it to capitalize and prefer, um, preserve the extensions and then save everything again. Cool. And just as uh, that quickly we have fixed the file name. So now we can go in the JCAUSE and bring in these files. And now the one thing we want to do is make sure that it is set up properly. If you download this uh, program by default I don't think this is set up correctly. So you'll need to go to um, correct metadata from file name and we want to make sure that it says this uh, essentially a percent artist percent uh, dash percent title and you can see actually there's lots of different things in here that you can use to correct um, the metadata. So we're going to do that. 
So we'll save that. We'll come up here and correct metadata from a file name. Hey, look at that. Now we do have a couple of problems. One is we have all these extra spaces. Well, this program can fix that. So remove white space. Actually, if I need to select it all. So that part got fixed. The other thing too is we want to I'll make sure that the genre is set correctly. Oh, it's driving me crazy. There we go. Now if I select all of these. Hey, look at that. And that should be it. And I'm going to save. So that's just a quick video to show, you know, um, if you get these acapellas. And like I said, I'll leave the link. Basically, you sign up. I think it took a couple of weeks before they actually sent me the link. But uh, yeah, they sent me this list of 100 acapellas. And I can use these for DJing, which is, they got some pretty cool ones in here. And you'll notice it didn't uh, take a huge amount of effort to fix all the metadata, to fix the name, at least the naming convention that I typically use. And um, in another video, I'll show you how we'll, um, we'll take it to the next level. Cheers.